consider that in conformity with the obligations under the Genocide Convention, Israel must immediately halt its military offensive and any other action in the Rafah governorate which may inflict on the Palestinian group in Gaza conditions of life that could bring about its physical destruction in whole or in part. The court recalls that, it is, that in its order of January 26, 2024, it ordered Israel inter area to, I quote, take effective measures to prevent the destruction and ensure the preservation of evidence related to allegations of acts within the scope of Article 2 and Article 3 of the Genocide Convention, end of quote. of uh, the ICJ uh, to be implemented without hesitation. That's mandatory. And Israel is, as I said, party to the convention. And the convention is crystal clear on this issue. So Israel has to abide by the decisions and the uh, demands from the ICJ. Uh, with regard to our efforts in the Security Council, We've been working as an Arab group through our representative, Algeria, and in fact, we had some elements, or you can call it a draft resolution regarding Rafah. So then we can see collaboration between what the ICJ did and what we, the Arabs, uh, uh, have been engaged in in the Security Council through our representative uh, to see uh, through consultation and uh, work with all members of the Security Council that, that these decisions are to be implemented.
will be in the implementation. Um, the only way things will get easier for the UN is if we see an end to the military action, we see a humanitarian ceasefire, we see uh, the, uh, the creation of, um, of, uh, of an environment in which we can have unfettered humanitarian access and in, during which all the hostages can be released. question for for the court itself because this is an ongoing case so I can we, we're only reacting to what the decisions of the the legal um, the legal part of the, of the United Nations right the court the judicial part has has decided um, as part of the statute of the court the Secretary General has to transmit its results to the Security Council he's he's doing that what is next is obviously whether or not the decisions of the court are implemented or not implemented, uh, what is next for us is continuing every effort to deliver more humanitarian aid uh, to the people in Gaza. We will have to choose between our support to the international institution and the rule of law or our support to Israel. And both things is going to be quite difficult to make competitive.